What's going on my guys, how are you all doing? So before we jump into this absolute powerhouse of a deck my guys, I'd like to say sorry for the complete lack of uploads over the past week or so. I went to go into the dungeon, into the garage, to do some recording, to try and get some bits done for you guys, and we have been overrun by false widows, overrun by completely horrible nasty spiders. And I'm going to admit it now my guys, I was too scared to go and sit in there with all of them and start recording, so I've evacuated all my equipment out of there, I've tried to get a little space in inside the house to get up and recording for you. So we're back, we're up and running now. Hopefully it's gonna be starting to look a little bit better. It's a little bit echoey right now, but once I've got some posters and maybe got my green screen up and going, we're gonna be doing a lot better. So jumping straight into the deck today, my guys. Cultist and Enchanted Sword, absolute amazing deck. We've been we've been having some good success with it so far. So hopefully we'll be able to get up, go, get up and going again today. We're coming up against Demon Hunter Sword, so we're going to be sorting each other down here, there and everywhere. But I'm sure we'll be able to get up and going somehow, guys. I'm sure we'll be able to get up and running and looking lovely. How are you all doing though? What decks are you using this week? Or what decks are you using in general, my guys? I would like to know. Because we're using a few different ones, but... The meta is a little bit weird at the minute, my guys. The meta is a little bit weird. I've got to admit, I haven't played an awful lot over the past month or so because it's been a little bit whack. I've had a few. Ho I've had a holiday. I've obviously had the spider situation. I've been busy with work, but we're back. We're up and running, my guys. We're going to be getting our tea set up here, and then we're going to be getting all our lovely blue swords all over the place. So let's try and get it up and running, my guys. Puppeteer coming out first isn't really going to be anything to worry about, and there we go. We've got all the cultists we need, so we can get our tea set up and running. And we're going to be looking absolutely sound as a pound, my guys. Leaving that portal keeper in the corner for now so that we can eventually, once we've moved this cultist into position, we're going to merge up into the corner and hope that we get a cultist or even a merge two enchanted sword would be alright. So let's just see what we can do. Let's just see what we can do. We're going to merge them up. And we do get a merge two dryad out of it, which isn't too bad at all. If we could potentially go ahead and get that one up to a merge 3, that's going to be doing absolute work for us eventually when we do get our second tee up and running, my guys. So that is absolutely sound as a pound. Bedlam coming out next is a little bit scary, but let's just start getting a few swords on things, hopefully starting to increase that damage, increase that critical chance. And if we can try and get them up to the 4, that'll be absolutely lovely jubbly, my guys. And unfortunately, we merged up for a merge 2 portal keeper there. So we'll get him put in the corner at some point, and then hopefully we'll get him merged up or get rid of him or... Try and do something with him, my guys. Try and get rid of him off that board somehow. I am so close. I think I'm one crystal away from getting that level 11 cultist, my guys. And once I've got that 11 level 11 cultist, we're going to be doing so much more work. We're going to be doing so much better, my guys, because we will be able to cleanse everything in them corners. We'll be able to get rid of the merge two portal keepers, the merge four swords to get stuck in them corners, my guys. So it's absolutely amazing, absolutely unbelievable. And there we go. Sorting down again now, I think. And there we go with another Harley Quinn, so we can just go ahead and copy another sword. We're probably going to go ahead and... Do I drop or do we use my blue sword? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, my guys. It's a very fine deck. It's a very, very fine deck, my guys. Obviously, I'm using the Harbinger of the Abyss today as well, so I am going to be sending my slugs over there, over to my opponent's side every time I do get up to six eats or six sacrifices. So that's not too bad, guys. That's not too bad. It's a little bit greasy on my department, I've got to say, but... There we go with another blue sword. We did drop a portal keeper there, unfortunately. So we'll work towards getting rid of that. But we're looking good already, guys. We're looking really, really strong already. We're trying to get my guy to that Harbinger ASAP. But we're also trying to get as many swords on as possible. So this game is very, very good in the long game. But you've got to make it to the long game, guys. That is the problem. You've got to try and make it all the way up there. 135k bedroom though, he's not going to be any problem at all, we're going to take about easy peasy lemon squeezy, and there we go, we're going into this next round, Gorgon coming out isn't going to be too much to worry about either, well I mean we do only have one T set up right now, so if he does come out and cover up that T it's going to be a little bit scary, and we do get Grease with the merge 3 portal keeper there, which is very unfortunate, we're probably going to be stuck with him for the mm, best part of the game now to be honest, and there we go, he's getting swords put on him already. Already he's getting the greasy swords put on him, my guys. Ugh. It's alright though, we'll keep going. We're going to use that merge to dry as well. And then we're going to keep on sorting down, my guys. Another two blue swords there is absolutely beautiful. So there we go. My guys in the centre there are now on seven swords, so we can't complain of that at all. We did get the merge two cultists there, which is a little bit unfortunate. But we'll work towards probably setting up our second tee shortly, my guys. We do need to be doing that. So, another few couple of swords there. 
we can continue to merge them. It's about the only thing we can do on our board at the minute. And there we go. That merge three is on nine swords and the merge four is on eight. We're looking good now, my guys. We're looking very, very, very good indeed. So there we go. Getting our third T ready up and going. Up and going, my guys. Getting it up and running. We're going to merge them two, merge three swords. We're going to obviously merge them into the corner onto that crit tile. And there we go with another cultist there. So we can't complain of that. It does put one of ours on the 10 as well. So we're going to be taking our units out so much quicker now. Destroying them so much quicker. And we might even be able to take this guy out. Grandmaster coming out next is a wee bit scary. But he's not the worst. He's not the worst. Copying that cultist there. We're going to get it eaten. We're getting 500 mana for that as well. Which is absolutely insane my guys. And there we go. Slugging him down. Slugging him down. We are, we are a little bit stuck with the 1, 2, 3 portal keeper there, like, it's a bit unfortunate. It's a bit unfortunate, but there we go, we're getting another sword copied there, we're going to merge them into the corner. We're probably going to get rid of our blue sword now, actually, so that we can try and make way for that last cultist. We've got it on the board, we just need to get it in position. Oh no, he's taken my cultist off the 10 swords, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's managed to get one of his demon hunters to the 10 swords as well, fair play to him. Fair play to my guy, fair play. Grandmaster coming out in about 13 seconds now. Now, there we go. Got our 2T set up and running. We've got both our center cultists up to Moosh 4. We're doing work now, my guys. We're doing absolute work now. I don't think he does anything to us. There we go with another Moosh 3 Harley Quinn and another blue sword as well. Let's go ahead and drop our trainer just in time for Grandmaster. And yeah, he's not doing anything to us, my guys. Nothing at all. I keep looking up there for the camera because that's where my camera used to be. It's a little bit lower in position now, guys. So if I keep looking off into the distance, it's not its not me looking off into the distance. I'm trying to look at you. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Both both my center cultists on the ten swords. Both up to emerge four. Look at the damage coming out of our deck now. Look at the damage coming out of our board. Absolutely insane. As if the shaman slug's gone straight for my merge four in the center there. Ruthless, toothless. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful though, guys. We can go ahead and get them all copied on over as well. And we're just working our way towards them harbingers now, guys. Trying to get up to that harbinger state. Just eating everything as much as we can. Getting up to that harbinger of evil. Well, it's not a harbinger of evil, it's a harbinger of fish. But getting to that harbinger state is what we're looking for, my guys. And there we go, my guys. Or oh, my guy over there has found a 40. We can get my guy up to the merge 4 once again, but we've got Grandmaster coming out. Probably going to just wait and hold off one second, because we don't want to be merging both our merge 4s and losing the game right now, do we? Oh my goodness, thank gosh. Thank gosh he just went for my portal keeper there. He could have gone for any of my cultists and it could have been game over. But we're still looking alright, my guys. We're still looking alright. We're making it to the double bosses, which is a little bit scary. And that's how you know we're getting into the latter state of the game. We're getting into some good, good damage now. And we're going to be able to get another couple eaten. We only need one more eat. Do we only need one more eaten for our Harbinger as well? And then we'll be doing loads more work, my guys. Absolutely loads more work. And there we go. We're not quite in that Harbinger, guys. I thought that was it. I thought that would have put us on the four eats, but maybe not. Maybe we need to get a couple more just so we can try and get them eats. And yeah, that's what we need to do. We need to get to the six, and then it'll put us in the harbinger state. Come on, reload, reload, reload. No, we took the victory before we got to the harbinger. But that is exactly what you like to see, my guys. 99.4 million damage there. That is absolutely insane. That is some good, good damage, baby. Let's get out of that one. Get into another one. See if we can do it all over again, shall we, my guys? Right, I'm finding this deck is really hit and miss, my guys. Really hit and miss. We've had a few more games. We've come up against Inquisitor this time. But this deck needs to get some decent swords on your Inquisitors in that center tile as soon as possible. Or you really are falling off just a little bit quickly, my guys. You can't quite last on that single T without them swords for quite as long as you want to, really. You need to try and get them 2T set up. But once you do get the 2T set up, you're not getting as many swords on the courts that you need to be doing. It's a very hit and miss, fine tuned deck, my guy. So we are getting better, we are trying to learn it. Let's hope that we can have a good game this time. We've come up against a Dark Inquisitor. He has got a single talent on there. We've got a single talent on our Inquisitor. Let's hope that we're in for a good, good game, my guys. Make sure you are dropping a like on the video if you did enjoy that last game, though, guys. Subscribing to the channel if you are new around here. We are back for good now, my guys. We aren't going to be taking any more stupid breaks anymore. Stupid days off. I feel, feel, I feel so, so bad that I haven't been able to get in to record. And I feel so awful that I've had a little lapse in content. A little week of no uploads again. 
But we're on it now, guys, and we're going to be doing better than ever. Stronger than ever. We're going to be getting our cultists up to level 11. And once we've done that, we're going to be doing absolute work, my guys. We're going to be climbing this ladder, getting up to that 7k mark at least. And we're going to be showing everyone that we can do it. We can be up in that top spot. So there we go. Working on our cultists. Obviously, we did start to set our tee up in the wrong way there. But you can see that we're setting up around our crit tile now. So that we're trying to get as many stuff on the board as possible. Plenty of swords on the board. We're going to level up our portal keeper once he's awake. Merge him into the corner. We do get a sword, so we can't complain of that. And let's just go ahead and get my guy in the centre up to emerge three. Only three blue swords out of all that, unfortunately. But at least because we only have three cultists on the board right now, we are able to get all them swords on the cultists that we need. So we can't complain of that. We can't complain at all, my guys. We're starting to look pretty cushy. We're starting to look pretty healthy. I'm pretty sure we take Puppeteer out looking like this as well, to be honest. But we do get another one there, so we can't complain about that. And my Portal Keeper does wake up just in time. So there we go. Dropping our trainer as well. So we do have that increased attack speed. And there we go. Do get him, we do get him taken out just before he gets that move off on us. So if you are still here as well, guys, and you are enjoying the video, you are going to have to let me know what you think of the new little setup. Obviously, I'm not quite ready just yet. I just had to make sure that I could get in here and try and get something recorded for you. I'm going to keep working on it. I haven't got a lot of space in there. You can see both walls, but we're going to be getting it, guys. We're going to be getting it done. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. It's unfortunate that we had to leave the dungeon. We had to leave the cesspit. But we're looking alright guys, we're looking alright, we're not doing too bad in it, I keep doing it, I keep looking up to where the camera used to be and I can't stop doing it, but don't you worry my guys, don't you worry, we're going to be getting it all done very shortly. Alright, plenty of swords on the board anyway my guys, so let's just stop gassing, let's get concentrating on the gameplay, and there we go, both my centre cultists are on merge, for merge fours, four swords. So there we go with another blue sword as well, so we can't complain of that, we're going to keep on going, keep merging them up, we're getting a Harley Quinn there, so we're going to keep merging them, another blue sword there as well, so we're going to merge that straight into the corner, for the merge 3 portal keeper, that one was a bit unfortunate, but we're not going to complain my guys, we're just going to keep it going, keep on trying to merge up, we're going to get rid of that cultist over there, so we're going to get a few things on our harbinger, or harbinger to be shall I say, and where do we go from here? Probably going to have to put the merge one dryad on a cultist to merge them two cultists. Probably merge that cultist up as well with a merge two dryad and get it on that curse tile. Mm, go on. Yeah, go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on. It clears the board a bit. It gives me a little bit of mana. And we managed to replace it with a couple more swords. So we can't complain about that one little bit, guys. And we do come in with another cultist there. Was that a nine? Was that nine swords on my right hand cultist as well? That's absolutely insane. We're going to go ahead and drop our portal keeper. Um, portal keeper. We're going to drop our trainer. And we did merge up for a merge two portal keeper. So we're going to move that cultist onto the right hand side. So that when we do eventually go to set up that second T, we're already halfway there. And we're just looking to try and get on them last couple of swords now. Try and get them last few swords on our units. And there we go with the merge two. There we go. We can merge them up as well. We're going to merge them onto the corner so that we can hope for a cultist. Or if we do get a. Another portal keeper, we can merge them into the corner and hope to merge four cultists. But no, we're coming in with a merge three sword, of course we are. We're not going to complain too much of that, to be honest, my guys. And there we go, all our cultists are up at least a merge two now, so we've got all the tribunal protection. And there we go, my guys, he's on the ten sword, so we're getting him straight up to the merge four, my guys. And we're probably going to be trying to set up that second part of the T as soon as possible. Plenty of swords on the board, plenty of levels on things. We've got 30 something seconds until Bedlam's coming out, so we're not really too bothered about that. We're going to be able to get set up easy peasy, lemon squeezy before he even comes out. And once we do get our cultists into position, my guys, we're going to be looking absolutely sound as a pound. And you know what we do when we look sound as a pound? We take those every single day, my guys. So let's get set up looking gorgeous. Let's keep on taking this Inquisitor down to Pound Town. And there we go. We just need the single cultist, and we're going to be looking absolutely fire, my guys. Absolutely sound as a pound. And we do merge up for another merge three sword there so there we go my guy in the sense is also on nine swords we can't complain of that one little bit we dropped our last cultist and oh we're not getting it there unfortunately oh come on move him into position drop our trainer and there we go Bellum doesn't stand a chance did you see how quickly he went down and this is what I mean my guys sometimes I'll be taking him out just like that so so quick and sometimes I'll be sat there doing nothing still ouch Merge five portal keeper. That one hurt, didn't it, guys? That one really does sting a little bit. Couldn't have given me a cultist there to be able to get rid of, could it? No way, Jose. 
And now we're stuck with the one, two, three, five portal keeper, my guys. Another merge one. We're gonna copy that sword there. Copy that dryad. Probably just gonna go ahead and level. Yeah, start leveling up my last T. So we can start looking very sexy. And there we go. We're merging up for another portal keeper. We get another Harley Quinn there. Might as well just copy that portal keeper. Get it put in the corner. We do get the merge four dryad, baby. So now we've got that merge five cultists in the center. We're looking absolutely sound as a pound, my guys. Tribunal is a bit scary. I didn't realize that he was coming out. But there we go with the dryads, my guys. Can't complain of that at all. We're looking absolutely fire, my guys. Absolutely fire. We're unfortunately probably going to lose that cultist because I don't think we're going to be quite getting recharged in time. Are we? Are we? We are going to get recharged in time. Oh, he didn't even get the hit off on me. Did you see that? Did you see that, guys? He didn't even get the hit off on me. Is that a wave three or four tribunal? And he's not even getting a... Not even getting a hit off on me. Oh my goodness, I've just realised my guy over there is on the 10 swords as well. All three of my centre cultists are on 10 swords, my guys. 10 swords in the centre. All three of them. That is insane. Oh my goodness, we've just managed to get the 3T set up and running as well, my guys. We've managed to get another cultist there. We can get both of them eaten for 670 mana each. Absolutely insane. So that's exactly what we're doing now. We're just working up to that harbinger of evil states so that we can try and get everything looking exactly as we want to. And there we go, my guys. Dropping another couple of swords. Getting another cultist there as well. And we do drop another sword in that corner, unfortunately. But once we do get our cultist in the corner eaten, there we go. We might be able to get another sword on the board. And we're hey, There's another one, baby. I think we're going to be able to take the victory right here, right now. Look at his board building up. 15 seconds until Grandmaster. And there is absolutely no chance that he manages to keep, manages to keep himself in it for this one, guys. Oh, my goodness. That was absolutely fire. Insane, my guys. He did manage to drop his trainer, but is it going to last long enough to keep him in the game? It does. But does he take out a 23 million Grandmaster is the question. 23 million. We took ours out really quick, my guys. So, so quick. But then again, we're just continuing to work up to that Harbinger of Evil, my guys. That Harbinger. That Harbinger of Abyss, sorry. It is just a Harbinger, but it's talent called the harbinger of abyss is how you work towards getting that harbinger but we're doing absolutely fire my guys absolutely insane unfortunately he hasn't been able to merge up for any trappers or he's not kept any knight statues on the board anything like that we are making it through to double bosses as well and i bet i could kick my double bosses but i bet i could take it right down to pound town my guys absolutely insane we would definitely make it through to the double boss right now i have no doubt about it absolutely no doubt about it my guys nothing's even making it out of my gate right now let's just see how quick we're taking out this vortex but we're going to take the victory before we even get a chance my guys but let's just see the damage there 80 million damage 80.3 million damage absolutely insane my guys i have a good feeling that we would have been able to continue on upwards into that double bosses and maybe even take out our double boss then we were looking absolutely insane and make sure you are dropping a like for that one because that one really is worth a like my guys subscribe to the channel if you are new around here because this is the end of the video guys and i'm gonna love you all and leave you right here right now but for now this has been your boy cedric peace